Hello everyone. You are welcome back to another exciting video. Now you know in our previous video we were able to analyze the first uh, uh, sort or compound which is X in regards to um, the forthcoming NACO qualitative analysis chemistry exam. So uh, in this case now what we are looking at again is the the B part of it, which is the the uh, the compound or the salt tag uh, tag Y. So in this case now, um, the salt Y is known to be an aluminium chloride. So since it's aluminium chloride, the first thing we do, like we do, well, like we did in the other one, is to first test the solubility. The solubility is. Uh, is done by adding water to it or distilled water. Now, when you add distilled water to it, what we observe is what we observe is that we observe that um, the the salt or the compound is soluble and it gives a colorless solution. Now, in the inference, because it gives us it gives us um, it's soluble and colorless, it means that soluble ions like sodium, potassium, ammonia ions are likely to be there and it simply means since it's colorless it also means that transition ions and are, they are all absent there because most transition ions are known to be what colored they produce colored ions whenever they dissolve in water due to their D group so meaning that transition ions they are all absent there so you know then we divide our solution into three portions now if the, to the first portion from here, what we got, we add a sodium dilute sodium hydroxide solution in drops and in excess. So in drops, we have white precipitates. Then um, when we put in excess, in excess we notice that um, the, the solution, the precipitate is soluble, which means that the possible um, ions that can give us this kind of observation is aluminium ion zinc ion and lead ion that means these ones are likely to be there they are likely to be present there so now um to the to the second portion that will go from here to the second portion that will go from there um we add dilute we add dilute hydrochloric acid we notice there is no visible reaction there is no visible reaction since there is no visible reaction, that means the solution remains the same, colorless and nothing changed. So it means that lead is absent because if lead is there, it will give us white precipitates which will dissolve when it's heated or warm. Then we we'll call it we are called when it's cold. Now it means that since it's so, it means that zinc, aluminium and zinc is the possible um, ion that is likely to be there. That means we have succeeded in eliminating um, lead from this our previous um, inference. So in the next, in, 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 from the, the mixture we got from here, what we do here, what we what we did was to add, we added aqueous ammonia. We add aqueous ammonia in drop and in essence we notice that we have a soluble uh, compound because most nitrates are all nitrates are soluble. So, because it remains, meaning that chlorine is slightly present. So, so to the mixture we have here from this place, the mixture we have here, we added excess aqueous ammonia. So, what we have is the the that the, the solo uh, precipitate that precipitate here um, turns soluble, which means. Um, actually, what we have there is um, chlorine because um, ammonium chloride is always soluble. Ammonium forms a soluble salt with what um, chlo uh, chlorine. That's why we have it here. Say that um, uh, chlorine is now confirmed. So um, that's one thing I really want to talk about here concerning the previous uh, video that we did on uh, triazocarbonate. So as a carbon, you can also heat it. You know, when you heat um, the zinc, zinc, uh, that zinc, 
if you hit this zinc, you can also liberate the gas that is so noble, um, a gas that is odorless, colorless, that can also do the same, carry you can the, the same test for carbon there, what we did in the previous video, can also be, uh, uh, can go this way. Because when you hit this thing now, it will decompose to give you carbon-4, which will be colorless, odorless, and turn red and blue litmus paper red, and also turn lime water or calcium hydroxide or milky, which also confirms the presence of trisocarbonate in the compound. Is that okay? Thank you so much for uh, having time to stay with us. Thank you.